Yeah, they've been all the time, but they can they go through the hormone, the changes, the body changes. That's why they need parents. Parents are so important. In the 18 years of a kid's life, okay, the first five years are very important. So that's, that's the development of birth to five years old, starting school, right? And, and not much, it's always there. Then the last five years, from 13 to 18, because while they're trying to push you away, they also want you to hold on to them. Okay, and so while they're pushing you away, oh, I better go away. No, they want you to hold on to them too. They're trying to. He is risen. He is risen indeed. You can't sue us for making games too entertaining, say major game developers in response to addiction lawsuits. Microsoft, Rockstar, Epic, and others are being sued for using addictive psychological features in games like Minecraft, GTA V, and Fortnite. Now, before we get into the actual article, okay, now you and I know, okay, there are things you can do to make your game more appealing and more addictive, okay? It's similar to basically you and I who are Christians. When it comes to music, there are ways to make the song more addictive. You know, and that's been around for a long time. So we know these things. There are triggers in the human mind that does these things. So I'm not saying that they're, they're you know, I, I have no problem with the game company making their game entertaining and want you to play it. But we'll see what they say here in the article. A string of six video game addiction lawsuits have recently been filed against Microsoft. Activision Blizzard, Roblox, Epic Games, Rockstar, and other major games developers. The complaints, which were all submitted to courts within the past 12 months, claim that game developers are intentionally making players addicted to their games. You know, making a game entertaining does not necessarily make it addictive. Now, and again, you all know there are those people who have a higher propensity to being an alcoholic. Okay, not everyone is going to be an alcoholic. But there are those who have higher propensity. So just because you are the one high propensity doesn't mean it's, it, that the the alcohol companies are deliberately make, you know, trying to make it addictive. I mean, as part of a motion filed this month to dismiss one of the complaints that of an Arkansas woman and her son, the targeted game developers called it an attack on the First Amendment rights of video game creators. The Arkansas lawsuit alleges that Roblox, Fortnite, Call of Duty, Minecraft, and other popular games used a, quote, addictive psychological features to hook the son starting when he was 12 years old. Now 21, he currently spends $350 a month on games, dropped out of school, has been diagnosed with major depressive disorder and anxiety, and has experienced withdrawal symptoms such as rage, anger, and physical outbursts. He alleged that the mom could not regulate her son's gaming because she, quote, feared him as a result of his outburst. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm blaming the mother for this, okay? I'm blaming the parents. You know, um, if you weren't regulating your kid at the very beginning, so, you know, um, Florida just passed a law banning uh, 14 year old, 14 years and younger from having a social media account. Now, why would you do that? You know, because shouldn't the parents be doing that? Yeah, the parents should be doing it. Just like there's a lot of states been push publishing saying that basically you have to have an age, uh, a proof of age to uh, be able to view any porn websites. So some of those porn websites like Pornhub have pulled out of, say, Texas or Virginia because they, they couldn't do it. They don't want to do it. They don't want to. Because they, they know, by the way, it's very addictive. If you want to sue somebody, sue all those porn sites. Okay, those are addictive. And they on purposely make them addictive. Now, game companies, I mean, if you're not watching your son, 12 years old, not watching, I, I me and my wife were very diligent about watching our kids and what they're what they're gaming and making sure they weren't gaming too much. You know, they say, yes, they're all gamers today. I don't think they're dropping $30 a month on games, okay? They haven't dropped out of school. You know, I don't think they've been diagnosed with major disorders and anxiety about them. Uh, I think they're very well intelligent and, uh, you know, members of society. But to me, that's that's a parent, okay? That's, that is not a game company, okay? If you're, if you're letting your kids play games too much, you have to do a good job as a parent, okay? Now, Missionary Gamer, if you follow him, you know his heart for the Lord and his heart for kids is, oh my gosh, how many people he's run across 
when it, when playing online games, you know, and finding kids who are under 18 playing these games with their parents not knowing, or the parents don't care, or their you know the parents are just like using it as a babysitting tool. It is sad, okay. Anytime it comes down to blaming someone else, I'm immediately suspicious. Yeah, I agree too, okay.